probably the project we did back in Rome in the San Lorenzo neighborhood. Um, we looked at last year's group's research and we kind of looked at how they did a more quantitative approach with looking at the physical attributes and the routines of the people. But when we went in there, we kind of approached it differently and kind of went for a more qualitative search, I guess. And I really liked how our group actually split into different individual parts and kind of traveled through the neighborhood and almost gave it a different sense and almost like an invisible layer that could have never been touched that we had bef from before his research. So it was really good to get a piece of that and just the encounters of just talking with locals. It was really good to get the sense of the, the people there and what made that neighborhood really thriving. I think with cities, um, I had trouble, to be honest, at first adjusting to Rome itself. It was pretty much out of my comfort zone. I wasn't used to the things that they did at first, but it took me a while and I realized that you really have to get in tune with the city's pace. You really, to get it, to understand what it's like there, you have to kind of go flow with them in a way. You can't just force your ways of doing things. As days went by and like just through the conversations, just going to eat dinner with everyone and just hanging out and seeing how people moved, the, moved along the streets, you really got used to the pace of the city and I, that's where I could really see that quality of life that the, Italians peop the Italian people have and that's what I really learned. As we moved from city to city, um, it was really refreshing to go to Dolciano, which is in Tuscany, and living in the, the, the area that we were in, uh, we hopped into the van and we drove through the hills, the hill towns, and it was actually really amazing because I didn't think it'd be like, I, I knew it was going to be beautiful, but I didn't think it'd be that beautiful. Like my eyes were probably tearing and it just felt like I was in a painting. I've never seen the, ro the hills just roll and endless fields. And even at nighttime, like it was just gorgeous seeing um, this, the amount of stars in the sky and walking out into the field and the fireflies, like that's a first for me. So that was really exciting. Um, I think after coming back, I've, I had a new attitude. Um, I think the last couple of years with Seat, um, you know, Italy, getting into Italy was a great, one of my goals in this program. And sometimes I feel that some of the students rush through the program and don't really stop and think about what we're actually doing, what, well, what's happening to me. And I realized after this trip that how important it is to just to stop and slow down and just reflect about it. and. And I realized that through this year, like I had this more just being with the people around me, the people I worked with in Italy. There's just just new energy of awareness that I came back with, and that's something I want to strive for in the future. Just to always be working with that type of attitude or being involved with people that have that same energy.